What's up gang, I'm Dave. Today we're gonna to be restoring the frame of my 1958 Dodge Power Wagon using some of these high quality products from Eastwood. You're watching Parts and Restoration. That was brutal, absolutely brutal, looking at several hours of wire wheeling. But it's clean and it's ready. Next step, boom. Makeup removal tutorial for men. Sponsored by Tubble Tales. Okay, now that I've wire wheeled the entire surface of the frame, I'm gonna be cleaning it with this Eastwood Pre. This is gonna take all the oils, dirt, um, grease, or anything left over from the wire wheeling process, remove it from the metal, and get it ready for paint.
All right, halfway there. Intermission time. If you aren't already subscribed to Parts and Restoration, click the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell notification next to it. If you have anything you want to add, I do read the comments. I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below, good, bad, or otherwise. And be sure to hit that like button if you're enjoying what you're seeing. It gives me a little bit of feedback. I appreciate you guys. Check me out on Instagram at Parts and Restoration. Now back to the frame. Okay, now that I've prepped the surface of the frame using Eastwood's Pre, removing all of the grease and oils, I'm going to be painting this with Eastwood's Rust Encapsulator Platinum. Now this product can either be sprayed on or brushed on. It's heat resistant up to 350 degrees and what it does is it is a rust encapsulator. It seals in any kind of rust and keeps it from spreading. Um, this can be applied directly to rusty metal or to any kind of bare metal. It requires no priming. Let's go ahead and brush this on and roll this on to my frame. how much paint I used for all you just saw. I still have to do the bottom of the frame, but um, I think I'm gonna need a second can of this to get the job done. I would recommend two cans if you're gonna do a frame. Okay guys, so the entire frame has been painted, top to bottom. Now we've gotta do the insides. We're using some of this Eastwood internal frame paint. What this does is it's a rust encapsulating spray paint using a long reach nozzle to reach inside of the boxed in sections of the frame to encapsulate the rust there so it doesn't rust from the inside out. Okay guys, so for the last four hours, our rust encapsulator paint has been curing. Now it's time to apply our 2K Aerospray Black Chassis Paint from Eastwood. This is a two-part spray paint that has uh, an activator inside of it. Once activated, you have a 48-hour pot life in this product. And uh, they say this spray is kind of like a spray gun. I'm really looking forward to giving this a shot since I don't have that kind of setup here. But we're going to go ahead and apply the satin black on top of the silver.
This Dodge Power Wagon project is coming along really well. I'm really pleased with how things are going. There's gonna be a lot more videos coming up soon. If you haven't seen the videos previously that I already posted on the channel, go ahead and check them out now. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out. If you have anything you wanna comment on, I'm really interested in hearing from you, whether right, wrong, or indifferent, drop me a comment below. If you're upset that I didn't wear shoes or have another issue, please let me know, like most of you do. Um, if you have anything else that you wanna add, hit me up on Instagram, at Parts and Restoration. I post on there every day. There's lots of pictures of this truck. Huge thank you to Eastwood Company for providing some products. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. Um, and that's really all I got. Thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.